folks, DJ Smoker back with you today. And we're in South Tampa over here with our friends at Grill and Provisions. And I want to add, answer, hopefully answer a couple questions. All right. What seasoning and how do you pick your seasoning for your barbecue? I, I, I've been doing this a long time and I can tell you, I really don't have it down to a science either. So do you, are you brand specific? Are you loyal to a certain brand? If you're with the green egg, do you use green egg seasoning? If you use Traeger, do you use Traeger seasoning, etc. So I'm gonna try to bring, hopefully answer some questions on how I do it. And one of the biggest things that people tell me, okay, this is killer hogs, right? So killer hogs, you see, uh, very popular on YouTube and the simplest answer is try it and see if you like it right but if I try this on a brisket or a slab of ribs I'm left with seasoning that I've purchased that I can't use so what do you do so in this case I got killer hogs here I have Meat Church, Honey Bacon Barbecue. Uh, we've got Meat Church Gospel here. Everybody's heard of uh, Mr. Meyer Mixon. We've got him here. Uh, what else we got here? We got Heath Riles. So, how do we choose? Um, I find myself sometimes I'll look into and I'll read the seasoning profile to see if it's gonna fit what I'm trying to do. But ultimately, you just have to try it. Um, and then I hear people say, well, do I have to go to a specialty shop in order to get specialty seasonings? My answer is no. I've used McCormick, uh, Weber, that I get from my local grocery store. Um, and also here at Grill and Provisions, we have proprietary and in-house seasoning as well. So if you have a local uh, Grill and provision shop that you frequent, they may have their own seasoning blend, okay? So I don't have the answer to it, to be honest with you. The same thing with sauces. And you know, I think we'll save next time, we'll go through all the sauces. You walk into the grocery store and nowadays there's every sauce for everybody, different names, and they're all good. Trust me, there's nothing bad about what I'm saying with these selections here. Uh, Heath Wiles, Killer Hogs, Meat Church. I haven't tried them personally, but I plan to. And that's the only way to find out what it is that you like and go continue to use it. Uh, we also have Thunderbird here. Uh, this one is for chicken. So a lot of choices out there. When I say just get out and don't be afraid to experiment. If you experiment with something and just so happen you don't use it, then that's the only way to eliminate what you don't like. I hope this is helpful. Uh, we'll continue to bring you these everyday backyard barbecue, hopefully answer some questions for you. And the next time in this three-part series, we're going to bring you sauce, seasoning, and fuel. Charcoal, different types of charcoal, the effects of different types of charcoals. I'm DJ Smoker, and I'm out. Put some smoke in the air, and like and subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy the content we're bringing to you, Hit that notification bell. I'm out.